your local Sunoco dealer who offers you Sunoco Ultra 93.5. Welcome to Pasadena, California and the Rose Bowl. Oklahoma and UCLA about to kick off the 1990 season. Hello everyone, I am Dean Blevins and I will be your host for the next hour for California Dreaming, a pregame show saluting the Oklahoma-UCLA game. We have been following the Sooners throughout this preseason and we caught up with them when they arrived here in Los Angeles. Yeah, I went around your waist. The Sooners fly to L.A. early Friday. They'll be playing at LAX Airport. Welcome to busy, sunny Southern California. Time for a quick snack, presuming it was edible. And as the clock was ticking down to football 90, it was off to Universal Studios. From trams, the players took in all the sights. Battlestar Galactica. A scary moment. And Mr. Kong. Friends call him King. And then off to the Rose Bowl for one last light workout. Go, oh, next guy. Okay, here we go. Head coach Gary Gibbs unusually relaxed, chatting here with ABC's Keith Jackson. Sooner offense finds the natural grass surface of the Rose Bowl in impeccable shape, best they've seen. A smiling coach Gibbs meets an old friend. George Davis is a former Sooner living in L.A. who now has Lou Gehrig's disease. George gives an inspirational speech to the huddle Sooners who respond when asked to win this one for Davis. Uh, George is a, a player who played back when we both played and uh, was a tremendous uh, person within our program, really a motivating factor during the times that we played. Didn't have a chance to play much, but was a major contributor. And he's out here and... Uh, uh, he spoke to the team and really said some uh, very supporting and, and very motivating top words to our football team. Still feel you're going to win? Still feel like we're going to win. All right. Okay. Former Five Alive intern Duell Brewer sends his regards and displays his early vote for who's number one. And speaking of number one, I'm joined now by George Davis. And uh, George had to be kind of a fun, emotional day for you yesterday. Yes, it certainly was. I was really uh, excited to go out and get to talk to the players. Uh, Gary and I were friends from uh, 72 to 76 teams. What did you have to say to the team? Well, I told them that, first of all, it was a pleasure to be able to speak to the 1990 national champions. And uh, judging from the response, I think everyone liked that. How you feeling, George? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. I think that uh, the team, you know, OU's been going through a lot of changes, and I'm certainly proud of Gary and what he's done with the te team thus far. George, wonderful to see you, and uh, best of luck, uh, much more important in this ball game. Oh, uh, Dean, thank you very much. It's good to see you. All right, George, thank you. you UCLA bet. is, of course, Oklahoma's opponent, and we caught up with them, went to their practice earlier this week, and, of course, the Bruins are coming off a bad year, 3-7-1 and one last season, but they are getting ready for this year. UCLA's beautiful setting has lured many great athletes to stroll the campus here and play for the Bruins, but they weren't Bears last year with a disappointing 3-7-1 record. Head coach Terry Donahue responded by adding five new assistant coaches. Homer Smith back as offensive coordinator for his third term out here, and people we talk to expect magic from the well-known coach. Well, there's no magic. I proved that. Uh... But I'm just pleased to be a part of it. I like Terry Donahue's program. I like the athletes who are here. And it's been a joyous few months for me. And I, now I just want us to produce on the gridiron. That's what will count. Number seven, Jim Bond is the new quarterback. Unproven, but a strong arm, which will be used around 20 to 25 times today. The Bruins have a healthy respect for the Sooner defense. They have a total uh, unit. You know, it's not one single player. I think they just—they're really, really good as a total unit. You know, they're just strong and physical, and and they got some great athletes that really run around real well. ABC's Keith Jackson gives UCLA the edge, but tells me that's if the Sooners are ineffective throwing the football. That's the younger brother of the Gundy that played at Oaks. Donahue is a perfectionist with a lily-white reputation. He's won a record seven straight bowl games. We have to be able to move the ball a little bit against that defense. Um, if we don't, our defense will have to play too long. And when our defense plays too long, it'll be hard on us. We, uh, we're rebuilding uh, our football team right now. Our biggest concern is team speed. The Bruins have three starters out, two more hobbled, and hope to not have to resort to onside kicks. But they are confident they will return to glory beginning Saturday. So the Bruins' practices are shut down, and they're ready for Oklahoma. Are you going to handle Oklahoma? What's that? You gonna handle Oklahoma? You betcha. You gonna beat Oklahoma? Uh, we'll huh? be ready for them. Huh? We'll get them. Says they'll be ready. 
pretty confident from a team that hasn't won in six games. But then again, there's plenty of talent. And you're looking live at the floor of the Rose Bowl. Of course, UCLA uses the Rose Bowl as its home turf. UCLA 13 and four in non-conference games since moving here to Pasadena in the Rose Bowl. Lots more to come up in this show, lots of features, and the crazy guy of radio, Al Eschback, a little bit later, so stay with us. for Oklahoma or not, only time will tell. There is the Goodyear blimp, and that means that ABC is here, and of course they will televise the game beginning in less than one hour. Troy Aikman, of course, played for Barry Switzer at Oklahoma a few years ago, and I visited with Terry Donahue, the head coach of the Bruins, a couple of days ago, and he was telling me that he couldn't believe it when Switzer called him and told him he had some strong-armed, raw-boned quarterback he wanted to send out his way as a Christmas gift. Donahue said, well, we'll take a look at him and see what he did or what he could do, and it was obvious what he could do. Myron Patton talked with now the starting quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. The last time OU and UCLA met, it was in Norman in 1986. The sellout crowd on hand had no problem deciding who they were pulling for. But four years ago, current Dallas Cowboys quarterback Troy Aikman had a very difficult time choosing up sides. At the time, he had ties to both schools. To refresh your memory, Aikman spent most of his childhood in Henrietta, Oklahoma. After an outstanding high school career, he went to OU, where he played two years, and started in 1985. Aikman led the team to wins in their first three games of the year, and though he struggled at times, most observers felt he'd be the best passing quarterback in school history. And though he certainly wasn't a classic wishbone quarterback, at times he even had his moments running the option game. Then in the team's game with Miami, disaster struck. On a sack by Jerome Brown, Aikman suffered a broken ankle, an injury that would end his season, and as time would tell, his career at Oklahoma. Because freshman Jamel Holloway took over and led the team to a national title, so Aikman decided his golden arm would be better suited for a passing school like UCLA. And though he couldn't play for the Bruins until the 87 season, the situation created an interesting dilemma for the 86 meeting. At that game, uh, I really didn't know who to root for. I wanted UCLA to do well because it was my new team, but at the same time, I didn't know nobody on that team, and I hadn't even met any of the guys yet. And uh, Here I was leaving all my friends at Oklahoma, so that game was kind of up in the air for me. Troy Aikman enjoyed his time here at Oklahoma. He still has a number of friends that he keeps in contact with, but he could say the same for UCLA. So the obvious question is, who will he be pulling for in today's game? As far as this game coming up this year, I'll be, I'll be rooting for UCLA. Uh, I've got a lot of loyalties to their school. Uh, I think they've got an outstanding program, and I think a lot of Coach Donahue. Before you get too uptight about Troy's answer, remember that he spent his last two years playing for UCLA. He holds a number of offensive records at the school, and it was his play at UCLA that made him a Heisman finalist in 88 and the number one player taken in the NFL draft in 1989. Myron Patton, Favela Sports. Thank you, Myron. And uh, just to back up what Troy said, he was a roommate of the starting quarterback, Jim Bonds, of the Bruins, and actually mailed Bonds some balloons and other stuff yesterday and is very supportive of his former roommate. But I'm sure Oklahoma is his second favorite team. And, you know, Troy Aikman is only one of very many, many talented quarterbacks that have quarterbacked Oklahoma in the last 25 years. Five Alive's Jerry Park takes a look at those talented signal callers. You know, when you ask young, and I mean really young football players, what position they want to play, more often than not, they'll say quarterback. And with that statement, visions begin to form of quarterbacking their team and calling the signals in a really big game before a home screaming crowd. Well, for a few, those dreams have come true. The All-American list showed Jack Mitchell in 1948, Daryl Royal, 1949, and Eddie Crowder in 1952. It would be 19 more years before Oklahoma tallied an All-American at quarterback. He was the man for whom the wishbone was built at Oklahoma, Jack Mildred. Thus began a long list of great Sooner quarterbacks up to the present time. Steve Davis came out of Salisaw, Oklahoma in 73, the first year for Barry Switzer as head coach. Davis led the Sooners to a 10-0-1 season and the number three national ranking. The next two years, under Davis, Oklahoma would win 22 and lose only one, and win two national championships. 
In 76, Davis gave way to Dean Blevins from Norman High School. Two plays stand out in Dean's career as most memorable. The first was in the 76 Oklahoma-Nebraska.